changing who I am I'm making a new plan rearranging well hello everyone this is Javier you're watching retire recharge in Rome welcome back to the channel so in this video we're going to go through a cost breakdown of the bungalow that we built on the farm we're going to take a step back and show you the history from 2015 when we acquired the land and everything we've gone through to today uh, to show you that evolution and we're also going to highlight a few things that we might have done differently knowing what we know now things are different in southeast asia in terms of construction it's just different from the west so we'll go through that as well all right see you in the video okay so we'll start with the original land parcel that was acquired in 2015 as you can see it was pretty much bare bones no fruit trees or anything so that's what we started out doing planting coconut trees and other fruit trees and also digging the fish pond that was done by the end of 2015 and also and right after that we uh, or during that time we also built the original huts around the perimeter of the pond altogether there were three huts that were built for residing purposes for ourselves and family and the next project that we did was building the storage space so that was built in 2018 you can see what it looked like then and then what it looks like today in 2024. then the original bedroom was constructed in 2019 so this is now where fawn sister and brother-in-law reside you can see what it looks like today and this is right adjacent to where the main kitchen is and those were both built in 2019. Then you can see the pond side of the kitchen and the hut and the bird coop, which was built in the middle of 2022. Total cost to build of this was about $4,200 US based on the exchange rate. And then the next project was the guest shower and toilet along with the carport. Those were all built together. So we purchased the materials for these all together. Total cost for both of these projects were about $4,800 US. There's some great home improvement stores in Wow, and in the Vientian area, I'll drop a link so that you can see a video to our shopping experience there. So then we started the construction for the bungalow. Everything starts with the roof first in Southeast Asia. So we start on top and you build down. We started this in December of 2022, and then we started with the soil for the slab and the foundation. So once the roof was complete in December, we started bringing in soil and making sure it was compact, compact, graded, level. Uh, we had the retaining wall built to make sure everything was nice and tight. And once we let that settle, then we were ready to pour the foundation. You'll notice the materials for the roof uh, and columns are all metal all steel work and that's purposeful in terms of making sure there's no termite or other insect infestations you can see where we live temporarily through the first half of 2023 this was a great spot once we were done with the construction of the bungalow then we converted this to a salah right on the water by the middle of 2023 so when we built the bungalow we took care of the design so fawn completed the design herself purchased all the materials for herself and then we worked with some builders from the village who took care of everything else so they did the electrical they did the drywall they did the flooring they did the ceiling work they did the painting so we saved an immense amount of cost by going this way you can see the bricks that they completed as well over the water feature so for a bungalow that was all together an indoor area was about 117 square meters Plus another, I believe, 64 square meters on the outside with the bridge and the, the walkway. <clears throat> total cost is going to be shocking for those of you in the West. But our total cost for materials and labor for uh, this one bedroom, one bath was about $22,000 US. And again, we spent a, we saved an immense amount of money by going the way that we did. And not to mention also that the exchange rate was 17,500 while kept to US. Now it's since gone up, so you can expect overall costs to go up as well. A couple issues that we're still looking at addressing. So the main slab was all built in one piece, or poured in one piece, but the out, uh, the exterior under the steps was separate. So there's a little bit of separation on the steps. 
that lead outside. So we're going to take care of that with some sealant. I think we'll be okay there. Just cosmetic mostly. Everything's tied in with rebar, so it should be no problem structurally. There's a little bit of cracking in the drywall once everything's settled after the construction. Again, cosmetic. Uh, so we'll take care of that. And then in the bathroom, we've got a great rainfall shower. Uh, but the thing that's not great is the water pressure. So we're now uh, resorted to using a conventional water barrel for taking showers, common in Southeast Asia. But we will be installing a constant pressure pump to take care of that water pressure. So overall, we're pretty happy with the construction and with the, with the farm. Um, very happy with the costs. We'd love to hear other people's comments. And thank you for watching the video. I'm changing who I am. I'm